I'm just trying to get these to get my own promo code so I can get them <laughs> a little cheaper because they're nice. Click the link and go shop now and get them! Thanks for setting up the golf for us. No man. problem. You, you got yeah. us out of a tight yeah, We yeah. got uh, Todd for door coming. Yeah, He's yeah. A treat. Hey, he got us. He got us fridge. Yeah, yeah. fridge. Yeah. You'll you'll like Joe Watson. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's uh, <laughs> seventy nine. I he told, still plays with us. I told Talk, I said, yeah. we, got, we got him, and he yeah. was last one. He's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, he'll have some stories. Yeah, he remembers everything. Story, stories. It's stories. crazy how many He's writing the book, too. Shit. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, not a big, I'm not a big reader. That might come as a shock yeah, to a yeah. lot of you people watching this right now, but uh, uh, Keith Jones, I'm reading his yeah. book right now, because oh, okay. we're going to go over yeah. to his farm on Saturday. Okay, cool. He's got a really cool story. He wasn't really that that intense into hockey yeah. would never train in the summer would just like drink beer and eat chicken wings and yeah and then somehow i found a way to get drafted yeah. so he's quite the guy too oh yeah 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 uh, he's a funny he's a funny guy i heard like guys who play with him said he's probably one of the funniest guys and not often times do they have a guy who would like he would say a chirp and then the other guy would be stopping their tracks they would have no response yeah. <laughs> yeah. so jonesy was pretty good with the yeah. one-liners well, yeah does fedora play golf he hits it a ton. Oh, good. So, all right. So he plays. You got Joe Watson coming too. He's he's is he priceless. funny? Yeah, he's seventy nine. He's playing in our alumni game next weekend. What do you think play. he shoots? Like ten over? He hits the ball well. If he shoots ten over at seventy nine, dude. That's well, fucking yeah. insane. So the uh, um, fridge said he's like a fourteen. Bridge is a 14? Between oh. a 12 and 14. All right, what's Watson's handicap? I, he, I haven't gotten sure. that yet. So I was like, okay, I can manage Fridge. Then yeah, I, I hope I, if I can't manage Joe, I'm going <laughs> to... We be. can't lose to a senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> That's he's my just, whole thing. I already got all my jokes lined up. He's yeah. Medicare. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a putt. <clears throat> No, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, we're Probably ready. We'll be good. Well, our next guest was one of the best stay-at-home defensemen in the 1980s and the heart and soul of the Philadelphia Flyers of that era. He was taken 11th overall in the 1978 draft by the Atlanta Flames and went on to play over 1,100 NHL games, including playoffs. These days, he coaches the Philadelphia Warriors, a team made up of disabled military veterans, and the reason we are in town this weekend, Philadelphia. It's a pleasure to welcome to the Spit and Chicklets podcast, Brad Marsh. Thanks for joining us, Mashi. Hey, happy to be here. I love being introduced as a stay-at-home defenseman because that means he could not score. <laughs> <laughs> the nice way of saying it. That's he just right. did his job on his own end. Yeah, yeah, very polite. <laughs> All right, gang. Well, huge NHL news today, so we sent out the Chicklets bat signal right away, and we're happy to bring on our pal in the newest Vegas Golden Knight, Jack Eichel, congratulations, pal, going from Lake Effect Snow to the Strip and no income tax. <laughs> yeah, uh, save a little bit of money. Thanks, uh, thanks, Ari. It's good to uh, it's good to be on with you guys. Must be obviously duh, but a huge weight off your shoulders, needless to say. thinking for today fridge this is gonna be a glorious day it's absolutely beautiful out Watson's with us today this guy is retains everything from his career he's a legend in Philadelphia in the region Flyers legend it's gonna be a fun day he, he's a wealth of knowledge man and, and he's got some great stories uh, I like I like spending time with them. Where are you from? British Columbia. Oh, nice. But I played for the Bruins in '66. No shit. Or and I lived together in Little Nahant. No way. We played together, yeah, in 1966. You lived Bruins. in Nahant, huh? Yeah, Little Nahant. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you know, mem remember remember Albert DeSalvo? You ever ever heard of Albert? I've DeSalvo? heard of him. I've heard of him. Well, he was the Boston Strangler, strangling all these people in 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 Lynn, That's who the Strangler was? Yeah, Albert DeSalvo. <laughs> That's how I heard of him. Uh, and, and and anyway, so anyway, I thought it was like your pizza buddy. So anyway. Yeah. 
<laughs> so anyway, uh, we, uh, uh, when we would travel on the road, we had a five bedroom home in the water, Oregon. So when we would travel, all the wives would bring their kids and stay at our house and we'd have a security guard because oh, he was because loose. he was fucking running he was, around he was, it. He was, he, was, he was only two miles from uh from yeah yeah, yeah. lens right there yeah, and and uh, it was crazy so that we would go on the road and they'd, they'd use our house the women we would around for the kids but yeah but i love boston were you playing oh, there just God. a couple years or how long well i played there a year and then the expansion draft that came in 67 i came to flyers disappointed man i was disappointed. you must have loved it there. oh shoot partner you know and i was i was very disappointed that i that you know they were only allowed to protect 10 players in 66, and I wasn't one of that 10 protectors. Because how many teams came in in 67? There was six. Six, six yeah. Six, so yeah. it's like they had to let every yeah. team get, oh, get ravaged God, yeah. almost. Biz, what are your expectations going in today? Well, I tell you what, I ain't losing to a fucking senior citizen, and that's for sure. And Fridge. Fridge, surprisingly, I thought he would be like over 100. But uh, he's actually a 14 or 15 handicap, which isn't too bad. So I might be playing him heads up, but I'll just worry about Fridge and Wick can take care of Mr. Watson. Wait, how much longer you guys want? I'm good. You're good? Maybe the worst range session <laughs> I've ever had in Perfect. my life. Get the bad ones out, sometimes that's, sometimes that's a good thing, though. My elbow's hanging on by a thread. I won't bring that up again. Folks, we're back. <laughs> Special guest, Joe Watson, two-time Stanley Cup champion with the Philadelphia Flyers. I think it's been 50 years since they won their last, but no, that's okay. Oh, Todd Fedora, Todd Fedora. <laughs> Tough as shit, great guy. He's a good friend of ours, been on the pod. Joe will be on the pod soon. Lulu Country Club, beautiful spot. Late November, Philly. We're out here to play golf. We're out here to get a Let's win. Let's go. Oh, yeah, good hit, good hit, good hit. Oh, oh what? what? Oh, Wormer. Was that a ground ball? See, we had a freight down Broad Street. There are more people in the freight than are watching them going down Broad. <laughs> oh, you yeah. Coming up! Yeah, Could have beat him 10 to 1 if Tretch Act had that played well. We all shot a 49 to 13. They didn't have a hope in hell. I mean, we were just all over them. Come on, Fred! Hey, this is to uh, Lulu Country Club. All these guys came out and watched. The guys who let us out and play. Beautiful course. Shout out to Pink Whitney. Shout out to Joe Watson Hall of Fame and Fedoric, who's a great putter. <laughs> all right, cheers, boys. Cheers. What's up, everybody? Ari coming to you from the Warrior Classic here in Voorhees, New Jersey. Great time. So many teams here. We did give a shout out to the Philly Warriors earlier. No disrespect to all the other squads here. We met the St. Louis squad. We just met the Michigan and Colorado squads outside. So it's been an unreal time right now. Uh, just an honor to be asked. It was a no-brainer. We got an email about it, and it was like, where and when? I mean, it was a no-brainer to come out and reach, in, reach out to these guys to be here for them. And uh, shout out also to Pink Whitney for sponsoring this event. It's been tremendous. There's still two days of hockey left. That was a sem that was even the semifinals yet. These guys are killing each other out there. The hockey's been unreal. It's been an unreal atmosphere. So thanks everybody who's been here, and we'll check back later. Drink the whole bottle. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that. Pittsburgh sucks. 
right. All right. Last one. Apple Watch. One three seven. Five thirty one. One three seven. One three seven. Oh, Apple Watch. One three seven. Oh, there he is. There he is. Congratulations on the Apple Watch. Congratulations. Congratulations. Chug, 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 chug. Oh my god, oh my oh my god. Is that on video? Is that on video? Holy shit. Hey, thank God the Apple Watch is waterproof because I think some Pink Whitney just got in it. But guys, what an event this is. It's an honor for myself, Biz, R.A., Grinelli, the whole Chickleton Barstool crew to be here. Everyone, good luck tomorrow and thank you so much for everything you've done. Uh, 50 50 for 358 total. 50 50, 50 $358. Biz is going to pull this. Come on, this is good cash to spend somewhere bad. Uh, the Blues don't make the playoffs. B. Meyer from Philly. after 10 more picks. Santoro. Yeah! There we go! Yay, no more Pink Whitney. The guy chucked it from St. Louis. Well, as I said before, it's an honor to meet all you guys and thank you so much. And we look forward to tomorrow and the rest of tonight. So thanks for coming. Mikey, where we got? We are uh, at Keith Jones Ranch, and we have uh, we got some donkeys here. What's this one's name? Uh, this is a uh, carbon. That's carbon. That's Mama Donkey and Fiona. Biz. Oh, I like that talk. Donkey and Fiona. Yep. Yeah, right. Yeah. Biz. We're gonna read this wet talk. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> this one's Biz. Biz. <laughs> Look at him, him sticking yeah. his head in there. Yeah. That's hilarious. What do you think, all right? Pretty cool stuff, man. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen a dog in your life? Uh, I, I have. I'm not up this close, though. Not, I don't think I have a pet one before, yeah. Flyers are great with that stuff. Yeah, like especially the alumni. Like Brad Marsh is incredible. Like oh, he's done, the man. We did not. He was so, him and he so was nice. Awesome. Yeah. That guy has done a great yeah. job. Here. Yeah, he's a, he was awesome. We had he to helped him us a ton. Too. Did he good? Yeah, yeah he I got us uh, Watson and Fedora. That's for the great. Same oh, yeah, good. That's yeah, Fridge did it too. Yeah, Fridge did he's it. He's a beauty. Oh, he came supposed... fishing with us in Boston one time. Oh, he was hilarious. I thought he died doing a game once. I was a scared. I, that's the most scared I was doing a game. Oh, so cold door punched him. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. he went down on the ice, and then his hand was like in rigor mortis. It was like, and I'm like, we tried uh, to get the camera off. Like, get yeah, the camera. I was off. like, I don't even know what to say right Jesus. now. It was at, it was at MSG. Oh, yeah. So I was like. That was the most scary, horrified yeah. I've been during a game. That was scary and shit. And that Colton Orr could punch, boy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every, every, every guy was a tough guy. Every guy we interview, they seem to say Colton Orr. That's the guy I was afraid of. It's almost of. like he had an iron yeah, fist or something, people, right? Or, or his face was made of brick or yeah. something, is what everyone said. That was, uh, there's a few guys like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It's, no it's crazy, too. Like, you look like some guys who fought so much they're running teams now and other guys are fucking messes and uh, it's yeah. like it's like it's is it just line, genetic it? is the genetic like look at Barubi, something right he's coaching yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No one I mean, even like nearly talked like yeah. you know, lead those guys I mean, yeah. Biz, Biz, Biz got his face punched at yeah. so much yeah no it's not fun and, 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 no. you know well, I tried I, it I didn't like it I'm wearing it so this is let me see if I can do it right this is uh, Fiona that's Fifi yeah Fifi Fiona Fiona that's Carbon 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 this is Mama. Mama. Does that mean she gave birth to all three of these? No. 
Mama gave birth to Don or to Carbo. Uh, and that's Donkey. This is like the easiest one to remember, Donkey. And I actually like that coast uh, coat the best, but apparently he gets bullied the most because he got his nuts snipped. No, because he knocked them up so many times. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, as in like laying the pipe. All right, guys, I got no more food. I got some yingling here. No, I can't do that. <laughs> hey, just a little donkey. Oh my God. My wife wants these. Well, oh, thank you. I got bit, but I was saying thank you. Like that's how gentle I am with animals. No, just kiss his little nose. But it wasn't a bad bite. It was like, it was like. Just kiss I can't it. kiss his nose. Why? Yes, I can. Just kiss it. <laughs> All right, it's time to bring on our next guest, a seventh round pick of the Washington Capitals in the 1998 draft. He played 491 games over nine NHL seasons with three very good teams of that era. And for the last 15 or so years, you've no doubt seen him on TV breaking down the games, first with NBC, and now he's raising hell with Biz on TNT. Thanks so much for having us here at your beautiful farm in South Jersey and for joining us on the Spit and Chicklets podcast. Keith Jones, nice pad, Jonesy. Yeah, it's great to have you guys here. It's been a lot of fun already before the show starts. So <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm gassed from laughing at all the stories I've already heard, for fuck's sakes. So I don't know how many we got left in the tank here. We're going to have to repeat them and give them some fake laughs. I pulled in beautiful property, big farm, and saw some donkeys. I said, all right, we're going to have a time. Donkeys are already making some noise. What's up, everybody? Here we are at Keith Jones's wonderful ranch and farm here in South New Jersey. Awesome time. A ten times better interview than the time we've had. Unreal stuff coming from him. We've been here for, what, three, four days now. We uh, hung out with the Philly Warriors, watched some intense hockey. Great stuff Friday night. Brad Marsh coming. Again, Keith Jones coming. We're wrapping up here on our way to the Tradesman to rip it up for a live watch. See how that goes. We're going to root for the Flyers. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Head of the Tradesman's, uh, about to walk up now. Zero expectations for this. Um, I went in with expectations in Scottsdale. Uh, seven people showed up. So let's hope a few more people are here. Uh, I see the filming in progress signs already good to go. So let's have a night. What? tonight, fellas. <laughs> A lot better than Scottsdale. up update we are in boston now great trip to philadelphia uh, we got a lot accomplished sandbagger multiple interviews one with keith jones that was how long right, hour and a, yeah hour 45 hour 45 with keith jones um the two events we did usa warriors we're going to be doing more stuff with those guys unbelievable crew uh shared a lot of laughs and then we ended up having our own live event at uh, the tradesman 
and a great showing. We gambled a little bit. We won some money on Philadelphia. Also, Leafs spanked the Bruins. Keep the fucking change. What did I tell you? Five in a row, baby. Let's go. But now we got to record the podcast tomorrow, and we got PJ Stock coming in to put a nice chef kiss on the trip. So uh, we'll execute that and enjoy a couple days in Boston here. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I have a memory like a fucking elephant. And the story is, is we were doing the meet and greet at the bar. He probably got there by one of his buddies, and we took a picture. And the guy kind of fondled my my he fondled his pretty, cornhole. My cornhole, man. It was fucking. So he stuck gum. How did you not say anything when he was? Because when he when he asshole. did it he, when he did it, I he felt it. that maybe it was an accident, and like I just wanted to be polite, so I turned around right after because that was when the picture ended, and I said, "Hey, man," and he didn't. He had no ill will on his yeah. face. Yeah, he fucking, put the fucking acting job on. He put gum he, on your he, pants? That's him. such a Philly I scumbag move. You know who it was? It was probably fucking well, Gritty out of costume. Yeah, no shit. It was Gritty out of costume. No yeah, shit. Fucking... Here, I'll show you the pants. They're, half, they're about halfway home here. Like, look at brand new, like, crisp black jeans. Great jeans. Love these jeans. Look at that. Oh. Look, oh, it's still sticky. It's sticky on the wax gene. I'm telling you, I'm not making this up. I'll really never forget the fondle from the. F and listen, it might have been one of our true fans, and he got dared by a buddy. If you come forward and you let me know that I'm not crazy, and that in fact it was a fondle, and I'll remember who you were. I remember the guy. He was a big fella with a Flyers jersey on. Looked like a tight fit. That's how he was a big a fella. Scumbag. And I think he did that on purpose. So if you got me, you got me. I got sound. Hey, he goes. He might. He might have the culprit in the vlog video, because I remember what the. Oh my God! Please. Dun, 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 dun. What are you gonna do though? What are you gonna do? <laughs> What's that show? I thought you were gonna do the Rocky thing. No, I was gonna do the the. Uh, is that Law and Order? Law and Order, baby. I'm huh. coming for you, buddy. I'm gonna crack the code. I'm gonna fix the case. What is that tune? This is my. <laughs> this is my partner. <laughs> You guys are awful at it. What would be our partner? Done, done. Yeah, it's something that makes it impossible for a human to make it sound normal. It's got a little guitar solo in it, too. A human could do, do the Law & Order noise, because all of us sound like dun, morons. Dun, 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 dun. That wasn't bad. No way. What? He brought it. What? He's got one. The PJ Stock shirt? Oh, ass kicker, 42. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's my old, awesome. Is that your wife? old ladies. Yeah, it's my old ladies. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, she fucking held on with the fucking... Oh, my God. This one, I was like, hey. Where is this guy? Is he coming? He's oh, it's all... It's, oh, it's, yeah. I, I thought... Rock, I thought rock it was, star time. I got it. Yeah, I just... I just He's that cool. You can show I up 15 minutes later. I thought it was five Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> who, who was a notorious rocker who was... Uh, I, Lauren Hill was. I I'm not trying to bring up the Fuji just cause. I don't get triggered. Who is who's notorious for showing up extremely late for a show? Like oh, you know, someone did recently, but maybe not on purpose. Was there old rockers um, that that was? Guns and Roses. Roses. I think rap. Guns yeah, and Roses. Yeah, Guns yeah, Roses. Roses. Well, more specifically, Axl Rose. Yes, yes. It's kind of his thing. Yeah, I'm this big. Though these guys will wait. I'd be the one showing up early. <laughs> Like, I'm early! And nobody's there yet. Yeah, it's like, uh, not even me, because I don't, I don't like, do openings. Yeah. Hey, you you probably, lose your rock star status yeah. you're too early to your own concert. Dude, the Stones were pissed. They were playing. Everyone showed up. What happened to the show? It's over. He showed up two hours early. Yeah, man. Awesome. Uh, he's one of those, uh, if you're not five minutes early, you're late type of rock stars. Yeah, there he is. is. Uh, Holy shit. shit. Yeah, you I was going to say, you got some fancy jeans, but it's a race. Oh, oh fuck. 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 Thanks for coming. Oh shit! Hey, what's up, buddy? Brian, pleasure to meet you. Did you ask the chorus rear? I don't know what the PCL is. I don't know. Why. <laughs> oh, you know, I can get all dressed up. Oh, we, we got our ugly sweaters dropping. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. made us wear. Is it cold in here for you? Look at this shirt. Did you? I had a. I, I, my, yeah. It's my wife. She dusted out of the mop walls. I had, I had to bring it, show, show it to you. I'm sure it brings back a lot of fond memories. We're gonna. Are you gonna wear it? Huh? Oh, wear God. It. <laughs> maybe, maybe for a headband. It wouldn't fit over his arm. <laughs> Seriously. Right. Hey, we gotta do two interviews PJ Stock, and then we'll do Julian Edelman. And we'll just say that it was because it doesn't he look like Julian? I know he Edelman? does. That's a good. That's a good guy to be compared to. Too. He's, he's way better. He looks looking. like Julian Edelman and one of the and like an Affleck. Like he's got like an Affleck. Yeah, I was next. and Matt Damon. Oh, this is fucking yeah, awesome. I, I want we this. Oh, I Keep Are we, this. Have we started the interview? Basically, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We can like end a, it now like too. A porno right now. <laughs> this huh? is awesome. Well, it's a treat to bring on our next guest in the place where he became a folk hero about twenty years ago. 
Though he was never drafted and never the biggest guy, he carved himself out a role as an NHL fighter and became a lineup regular with the Boston Bruins. After retiring in 2004, he made the switch to media, and these days you can see and hear him up on RDS up in Montreal. Thanks so much for joining us on the Spit and Chicklets podcast. PJ Stock, welcome back to town, pal. Always Thanks, a pleasure. Great intro, That's all right. Yeah, Holy I shit. Oh, I, mean, I couldn't fuck that one up. No, you read everything that I wrote. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks awesome. for reading it perfect, Greer. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what just happened here? Oh, uh, an interview. And we just got that one. I'm How'd it go? One of our longest ones ever. Uh, it was awesome. Where about an hour and 50 minutes, he chirped me 50 times about my fucking stats because he's probably one of the only guys on the show that had fewer or more points. Than I, I but you had more goals. But I was a disher. I was a disher magician. How, I many, was, how many goals? Five. But I didn't want to score because, yeah. But you, the how many went off your shin? I was a passer. My first one went off my skate. But we <laughs> interviewed PJ Stock. RA, you watched him play growing up. Absolutely. I said 20 years ago, it's flown by. Uh, guy that, you were already growing. Nah, I'm still growing, brother. You are growing. I'm still, I'm still growing, PJ. But no, he, I, like I call him, he's a folk hero around here. And I looked up, I can't believe he only played like, you know, two plus seasons here. Uh, but it, it's legend speaks for itself, man. Stephen Pete, the, the fight was legendary and his career is legendary. Well, that's a wrap. What a successful trip. Philadelphia, Boston. We ended with a great Boston Bruin right here. Great interview. So uh, make sure you subscribe, comment. Comment again. What else do they got to do? Check our stats. Like, Check our stats. Share. Mine and business stats. So send it to your grandma. <laughs> do whatever you can to help the Spit and Chickles YouTube channel. And we hope you like all the content coming out. That's a wrap.